Well, hello there everyone and welcome to another virtual painting session. This is the beginning of a new painting and I must say um, I am very very excited to develop this painting because I did my homework. I did some homework with this image and again uh, I did forget to post this in the community section but what I have is the link. So I will post the link here and I will ask I will ask um, my monitors. So there's the link, I've just posted it. And I would ask the monitors if you don't mind, whenever somebody asks for the link, uh, to just copy and paste that link. Um, it's to Unsplash. So this is a copyright free image from Unsplash. And I'm working on another 11 by 14 inch panel. You see the back side of the panel is unprimed. Yes, you can work this way and Ampersand sells their panels like this. So I completely have faith in this way of gessoing. Uh, five, about five layers of Liquitex Professional Acrylic Gesso um, for about five to six days in between. Um, sorry, not in between. So day one, gesso, day two, gesso, day three, gesso, sand a little bit. And then the fifth day, let the gesso dry and then tone it with raw umber and then let that dry for a couple days and that's how you have a panel just like mine and if you're interested in the materials that I'm using please go to the description box down below it'll all be typed out for you we're gonna be starting off with a very limited palette here uh, this is actually flake white mixed with a little bit of just a tiny little bit of alkyd of the alkyd this is old holland yellow ochre mixed with a tiny bit of uh, Griffin Alkid. This is Cadmium Red Vermilion Williamsburg mixed with a little bit of Alkid. This is straight up raw umber, Winsor Newton, no Alkids added to it. This is Ivory Black Williamsburg mixed with a little bit of Alkid. And the Alkid again is in the Griffin tubes that I've been using. So the reason I've done it this way is so that I can have the paint open a little bit longer yet have it dry. Uh, by 24 to 48 hours, is, which is what I need for this painting. Um, okay, the link's not working. Uh, that's a little odd. Let me try it again. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think you may have to copy and paste it. So again, the photo reference link is right here. Uh, also, what I have done... Um, is I've created a drawing template of this one. So I think you may have to copy and paste it for the link to work. I did double check that it worked. Uh, by the way, I have created a photo, not a photo reference, but a, a, um, a, a little study here of the proportions. So this is, how, this is what I do for my online students. I create drawing templates. So this right here is a drawing template that I created both using digital and um, graphite. So I will make this available for my online students, those of you that want to paint along with me. It is an 8x10 printout, by the way, an 8x10 printout. So it's a little bit larger than what the face is going to be. And what this is going to help me with, and what this will help all of you, um, the online students, is the big shapes, the basic proportions, so that it's a little bit easier to see how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the painting and I'll talk about the sale that we have going on at the moment in a, in a little while. So what I'm going to do actually is apply the background tone first. And I've been doing a lot of drawing on Twitch, a lot of um, charcoal drawings. And I've, I've come to find out that with my oil paintings, I need to be a little looser in the beginning. I feel like I'm a little too timid in the beginning of uh, my paintings and I'm not going to be adding the greenish tone at least I don't plan on adding the greenish tone in this painting because I want to solve as many of the drawing problems as I can with very limited color and that's that's why I have the, uh, the, the Zorn this is basically the Zorn palette plus a raw umber Zorn palette plus raw umber. Ingrid, oh, I'm glad you love the large uh, Rembrandt that we have for sale. And yeah, I'll talk about the special sale in a little while. The special sale is a first come, first serve. Um, and I will say that the special sale that we have right now is actually the largest painting that I have 
available on Etsy. The largest one uh, coming in at 12 by 16 inches. So uh, just very vaguely covered where the outside of the face is going to be. This is Winsor Newton Raw Umber, not the Alkid. This is just a regular. So very quickly, just like a charcoal drawing, just like a charcoal drawing, like I said on Twitch earlier today, I said that it's basically the same type of working with mass. So those of you that were with me on Twitch not too long ago, remember I was talking about working with large masses and being more intuitive? This is what I mean. Large masses, very intuitive. That's what we want. And we can call this about finished, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so let me go ahead and continue to cover in these dark masses. And the raw umber is a really nice color because it is kind of a, a grayish. It, obviously, it looks warm, but when you mix it with white, it's kind of a grayish. It's kind of a warm grayish tone that I really like to use. So very quickly, just figuring out where things are going to fit. I'm going to have, of course, the leaves up here, the dark of the clothing over here. Just going to use raw umber for that. Hey, Tony Stark. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to incorporate what I've been doing in the charcoal drawings into the start of the paintings. And um, I'll talk a little bit as to why I have flake white mixed with alkyd, uh, titanium white in a little while. Alright, so now we have figured out the big proportions with this composition. Now very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just draw in the axes, and I'm using my favorite brush right away because I want to be loose with this. I don't want to be timid at all. I don't want to be carefully drawing in the outlines. Very scary. Oh no, the nose is a little bit off. Look at that. It's a centimeter off. Nah, none of that. I don't want any of that. I want to make these shapes loud. I want these shapes to be easy to read, easy to work with, dimensional, sculptural, and dare I say, almost accurate. But the accuracy will be built onto this. Hey, Gata. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Steven, Monique, Brock. Um, how's everyone doing? May I suggest you go slow when building the face? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll go slow, but not as slow, um, say as uh, with the online classes, I'm a little bit more slowly. I work a little bit more slowly with, in the online class of this. I'm going to be kind of moving a little quickly. And yes, I'm using a big brush to draw. Big brush. And let's get a scrub scrub brush. Hey Deborah. Oh thank you. Thank you for your comment. So using my scrubby scrub brush. And like I said this uh, this panel was already toned. Uh, it already had a tone to it. Um, and I decided to go in. I, I really had to think about uh, how I would start this one. Um, and I put a lot more thought into the start of this one with that template that I showed you. Um, the uh, the pre-mixing of the of these um, paints, the the preparation of the panel, all kinds of things have gone into this. And all I want is just place markers for where all of the building of the painting is going to go. Hey Abraham, do you study the image first before starting to paint? Certainly. I certainly do. Um, this one I studied 
a little bit more closely just because of how how much I struggled last time uh, last Monday with the start of that one luckily we were able to sell that one um, I'm thankful for that um, this time I've studied the image way more closely way more closely And again, I'm using the scrubby scrub brush to push this shape down. So I did a little homework. Uh, right after my Twitch stream ended, I got right to uh, studying basically how I was going to start this this painting. Usually I try to nap or uh, sleep for like 10 minutes, but nah, nah, I, I, needed, I needed to plan the start of this much better. Hey Tony Stark, before you get on with the painting, what are your goals for this painting? Great question. My goals for this painting, um, to get the form, form is my goal here. Usually um, the past couple paintings, the goal was light, to get the effect of light. Uh, this time, the, the, um, the goal is going to be form with this one. To go even further with form than before. So the value range is very simple. It's just this little tone in the background, the dark, and then the light. That's it. No more values. Just that. And I'm going to use this, this kind of simplification of values throughout the entire painting. We're going to keep it very simple, very sculptural. And I'm going to constantly refer back to my drawing template that I created. I'm, I have it kind of uh, pinned to, to my right so I can refer to it as I add in more specific shape. Abraham, Abraham um, what do you do after finishing 80% of the painting? You notice the likeness isn't there. I don't sweat it. I mean, um, I tell you what, everyone, don't, don't sweat it. Uh, don't let the likeness... Don't let the likeness disrupt the painting. Remember, it's a portrait painting. Notice the wording, portrait painting. But I say it's a painting first and a portrait second. That may be different if it's a commission. Now, let's get that clear. It may be different if it's a commission. So if it's a commission, you may want to measure much more carefully. But think about it. No one's going to go back and, you know, no one's going to time travel, go to Rembrandt on his easel and look at his mirror, look at his self-portrait and say, yo, you're about 95% off. Or you're about 5% off. You're 95% correct. But you're 5% off of your likeness. You know, your eye needs to be a little bit, a little bit to the right or your, your nose needs to be a little bit further down. No one's going to do that. No one... <laughs> No one's gonna time travel, look at Rembrandt, and say, "Oh, you're you're this much off." Uh, that's why, for me, and it's a subjective thing, really. For me, it's a painting first, and a portrait second. Hey Tony, one thing I would absolutely love seeing is the temperature slash rosiness of the cheek fall into the neck area. Uh, alrighty, we'll we'll get to that at some point. Whoa, just smacked the the microphone. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get to that at uh some point. Switch to a scrubby scrub brush. And I'm drawing just like I would be with the charcoal drawing. So I'm telling you, those Twitch streams really, really help. I love being able to do this right after finishing the Twitch stream, uh, charcoal drawing stream. Which, by the way, earlier today, we drew a, a Rembrandt study, another Rembrandt study. There's probably going to be a ton of Rembrandt studies on Twitch from me. Speaking of Rembrandt, um, how about I introduce the yeah artistic license definitely. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the special sale. So in the online classes, we have finished recently. We have finished a 
Rembrandt Master Study Project. Now, of course, in the online classes, you can take your all the time you need with each of the projects. But here is the painting that is available. Yes, this is an original painting of mine that I just completed, signed here. And on the back, it's going to be written after Rembrandt von Rhein. After Rembrandt, of course, um, this is a 12 by 16 inch oil painting that has recently been completed. 12 by 16 inches, very much larger than, as, as you're seeing here, it's larger than the 11 by 14 size. And here is the, uh, the uh, little page here, the Etsy page. Hopefully I photographed it a little better, I don't know. Uh, this is a, again, a portrait after Rembrandt. Now you're seeing the price. It is a special sale, so if purchased during tonight's live stream, you will not just get one oil painting in the mail from me, but you will also get two. You will get one free bonus painting on a sheet of canvas. Let me put this painting back on the wall so it's safe. Uh, so again, you will also receive a surprise free painting from me. So the free bonus painting will be on a sheet of canvas. So as you're seeing the paintings that I have here, uh, you will also receive one of these of my choice in the mail, along with your purchase, if you would like to purchase a painting during the stream. It is only during the stream that I have that sale available. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. The large brush has done its job blocking in. Now let's get to it. I'm glad you love the large Rembrandt, Ingrid and Monique. Thanks, Julie. As I mentioned, the raw umber is not alkyd, it's just raw umber on its own. And I'm gonna keep referring to my template. Again, I'm gonna I'm going to post the template on Patreon for my online students. You use the template like a like a photo reference. It's a principle template. Of course you can just look at it on your computer screen or your iPhone screen or iPad screen. What varnish do you use? Gamvor? Yes, I do use Gamvor. Uh, Col Colin Robson? Yes, Gamvor. I used to use Damar, Damar all the time, but I really like Gamvor. More and more these days, I'm really liking Gamvor. Now you're seeing exactly how much care. I'm going to switch even to a smaller brush. I'm putting into the light and dark shapes. So by looking at the template, I see that the eyebrows are a little bit higher. And I have to adjust this angle. And I'm running out of scrubby scrub brushes.
And again, um, I'm sorry if you hear that, that noise going on in the background. Uh, some, some, uh, someone has entered the building here where I live, so if there's a lot of noise, again, it's not, it's not a ghost, don't worry. This isn't a haunted stream, I promise, I promise. Um, it's just noise going on around me. Hey Jeff, uh, question, the eraser brush is just a dry brush, correct? Yes. It's also a brush that um, has been worn out. Uh, so I actually cut the tip off of this brush and um, it, it helps me a little bit. And again, sorry about that noise. Um, let's see, how much paint do you sell uh, usually? Um, if I'm lucky, I can sell the one that I paint uh, during the stream, but that's not always the case. It, it varies, really. Hey John, or Joan, Joan, uh, for some reason my live chat stopped scrolling, I cannot see new comments. Uh, uh oh, I wonder if that's a YouTube thing. Let's hope it isn't. So this is just like in, um, in Twitch. Make a loud and proud, uh, set of masses just lay it down lay it down lay something down that that's that appears three-dimensional that you know has a sense of depth to it meaning light and light and dark of course and then work with it don't fear the paint it's just paint Hey, uh, Vashna, can you talk briefly about the general measurements on the face? Uh, certainly. Uh, I usually, if we're talking about measurements, I usually go by the thirds. Um, but since the, the head is in perspective a little bit, it's going to change the thirds. But um, So the hair line to the eyebrows is one third. Eyebrows to the bottom of the nose is another third. Bottom of the nose to the chin is another third. It doesn't apply here, however, because there is objects on the top of the model's head. There are objects on the top of the model's head. So we can't use that third. So instead, the only other third that I can use is this one. This shape, see this? How it almost is perfectly down to the bottom of the chin. Usually if this equals, so if this equals this, then it's in the human realm. Uh, hey Monique, what direction are you heading when it comes to a theme slash context for this painting? For example, is it a wintry scene or more specific like uh, like Christmas? I ask because think about uh, think about the selling factor. I am not going for a holiday um, fact I'm not going for a holiday theme I will probably edit the red and the green this I, I already decided I'm not putting this in the uh, the, the yarn I'm gonna put in the, the uh, jewelry and I'm gonna put in the leaves in the hair I will probably change the red in the um, up here unless unless we have a, a buyer in the last um, in the last session that wants the red theme, then I'll paint the red theme in there. Um, let's see, why do you start to make, li why did you start to make live streams? What was your motivation? Uh, my motivation was all of the time, uh, all of the time I wanted to communicate with everyone on on YouTube with my viewers, but I just it was impossible because I'd have to spend so much time looking through and scrolling through all of the comments, 
and then I realized that my videos are real time anyway and I'm talking as I'm painting so I might as well just make the jump to uh, doing streams, uh, pretty much only streams and uh, that, that was really my motivation was not having to edit anymore and being able to communicate with you directly. None of this is edited in any way. Uh, so noises that go on in the background, uh, mistakes, uh, they're all caught on camera during the stream. Hey Marcos, uh, greetings Upari. What other brands do you recommend apart from Old Holland? Only Winsor Newton Rembrandt and uh, this brand that I can't pronounce. Enter my country. Uh, hug from Argentina. Oh, thank you Marcos. Um, let's see, you say only Winsor Newton Rembrandt and the brand that I cannot pronounce. All three of the ones you've mentioned are great brands. I have Winsor Newton. I have used Rembrandt brand before. It's pretty good. Uh, I have not tried the third, but I've heard good things about it. So all three of them are pretty good, but I personally, out of the ones you mentioned, have Winsor Newton. Angry and amazing, you can paint, read messages, and talk. Uh, I'm glad that it seems like I can. I, I struggle with this a lot, uh, I'm not going to lie. But I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy the challenge. The only thing I don't enjoy is when there's um, noises going around in the building. You know, people slamming things and throwing stuff. Uh, you gotta work with what you've got. Um, let's see. Vas Nuhara. Um, thanks. Can you also briefly talk about painting the nose area? Yeah, definitely. Um, so it's the bulb of the nose here. The uh, nasal bone here, this is the plain break for the nasal bone. This is the bottom of the nose, and the wing of the nose is located right here. Think of the wing of the nose as the continuation of the contour of the nose. And I'm also referring to my drawing template. Now I'm not tracing it, as, as you're seeing here, I'm not tracing uh, but I am referring to my drawing template. This is my drawing template. I created this right before the stream. What I did was I took the picture, put it on a drawing app, and I took the outlines directly from the picture, and then I corrected any kind of distortion, photographic distortion that I could find, uh, which I didn't find much. Then I printed it, then I drew on top of it with graphite. I'm gonna scan this and make it available for my online students. These are the templates that I use um, for my online students. Uh, I have it available for them so they can print them out, use it as a photo reference to help with their proportions. Hey Marshall, do you plan to have a studio of your own? Do I plan to have a studio of my own? Yes, one day I want to have a studio of my own. In a building that's not attached to a location where people are always stomping and things are going around and things are all crazy. I would love to have my own studio and one day, uh, one day we'll get there. Notice how much longer I'm spending on the drawing this time. It's because I'm really going to go in there 
and uh, try to delineate the form the best that I can. Don't worry about this. If this is bothering you, don't worry about it. This is going to be adjusted. This was just throwing down paint, and now I'm sculpting it. Hey, James. Ingrid, I'm glad that you love the templates. I think I do hear more noise, yeah, um, than you do because of the microphone I use. I set it so that it doesn't pick up as much uh, ambient noise. And perfect example of what we were talking about um, on Twitch. It's all in the wording. If you word something like, like if, if you if someone words something to me that's obviously they're obviously obviously trying to get in, under my skin or something, I just ignore it. But again, we were talking about this in the in the Twitch stream. You know, when you're an artist, when you're a creator, there's going to be people that have nothing to do but go and try to make your day worse because they have nothing better to do. So the important thing is to focus on the positive and to push on with your work. And this is important. I'm telling you, um, especially those of you that are trying to get into painting, into drawing. There are so many factors that can get someone unmotivated to do art. Uh, so many. In fact, everyone that I talked to uh, when I was when I was younger and trying to explore or trying to get into painting. Everyone that I talked to discouraged me uh, from trying to do this, um, you know, how I'm doing this today. They all discouraged me. And what did I do? I ignored them. I did the best that I could with what I could, and I'm still pushing. Hey, Kathy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hey, me, you... And I, uh, awesome username, are you scrubbing with a bristle brush and refining with synthetic? What brushes are you currently using? I'm using a synthetic to draw, and then I'm using a bristle, a, a used up bristle, uh, to push the paint around to sculpt it. And I'm referring both to the photo reference and then my drawing template that's a little bit to the side there. Hey Julie, um, I can sometimes get a glimpse of the comments, but it's okay. I don't think I can see them after they're removed, but it doesn't bother me. I deal with more criticism from people on in person than I do on the internet. It's not a problem. I was being criticized on Twitch just before I started streaming here. So it's a it's a Christmas season on me. Everyone's trying to attack me. But that's all good.
So again, I'm trying my best to stay true to the template that I created. So again, like I said, I'm going to show you the template once again, because I know someone's going to ask me. So here is the drawing template. Again, I'm going to scan it and have it available for my online students only. Um, so again, use this to help you gauge proportions. So for instance, I'm looking right here, this point to this point, and I'm trying to gauge exactly what distance it is. Obviously, looking at this, I can see that I have to push this out. Looking at this, I can see that the chin has to round out a little bit more. All right, so let's get to this. I have to move this. Me, you, and I. Uh, let's see. Me and you and I. Awesome username. Is the let's see. The, the is it stationed on an easel or laid flat in front of you? And the answer is none of the above. It's actually on a 45 degree angle. So, as you're seeing here, um, see where my hand is as I switch camera angles. Hopefully, I don't make you too dizzy. Um, <laughs> so I have it like that so that. I have a camera all the way up there, about five feet up, zoomed in to try to remove as, as much distortion as possible and so that you can see it as if it was uh, laying flat, but it's at a 45 degree angle. If it was laying flat, it would be next to impossible for me to draw. At a 45 degree angle, it is a little difficult for me to draw, but I manage. Hey Bridget, no worries, I kicked the person out. Uh, it's just sometimes people, like I said, they have nothing better to do. So they sit on their couch watching other people move forward in their lives and then decide to criticize them because they have nothing better to do. Nothing better to do. And this is the reality, folks. I mean, as an artist, there's going to be people that try to bring you down. And this is just how it is. But you don't give them the time of day. Hey, Nita. I would love to join your classes this month. Could I join a, join any month? Uh, what different videos will they have? So I want to say that the, um, first of all, yes, you can join at any time that you're interested in, uh, any time of the month you can join. Um, for the $10 a month, is $10 a month is the beginning of the online classes. The best benefit is the virtual classroom. So you can send images to me uh, each week and there's actually going to be some upgrades to the virtual classroom soon. So the best thing really is to be able to send me images. I use the same streaming format. In fact, this one right here um, that I have for sale currently, uh, Nita, this one that I have for sale was painted entirely in the online classes. In fact, this is the painting from Project 5. So this is the painting from Project 5. This is the one that I guided all of my students through. And we're always going to be doing at least one master study at a time. So now that this one's complete, I'm going to uh, be um, asking the students which other uh, painter to do a master study of. I'm going to write the suggestions for that. 
But yes, I mean, you get guided through everything, and it's a, at a much slower pace than this. I don't fly through the uh, lessons. And everything is very step by step. Let's see. Hey, Steven, I was trimming a bush with a scalpel and unfortunately dropped the scalpel which landed on my foot. Oh, no. Um, I, I hope your foot is okay. That's not good. Alright, so now let me take a look at the template. Alright, this has to move. Over which is going to move the mouse. So yes, I know the mouse is going to have to move. Admire you and your work too. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Now let's go at this again. Have a go at this again. Thank you for joining. Saludos desde aquí in Beltsville, Maryland. And the big idea is if I can get these shapes right, when it's time to get in the form, the form modeling should be that much that much stronger and um, and yes it's going to begin incorrect you can't begin correct uh, you, unless you're a fortune teller you cannot begin with the perfect proportions unless you trace them out and uh, you know, fill them in, which you can do. There's nothing wrong with that, but it, you don't really learn from it. You, you learn how to copy. You don't really learn how to see. You learn how to copy if you do that. So again, you have to learn how to work with shape. Hey, Diana Luna. Just found this channel. It's amazing. Oh, thank you, Diana Luna. I like your username. Diana Luna, shout out to you for having just found my YouTube channel. Welcome to the virtual painting sessions. This is my shout out to you. I hope that you will enjoy the virtual painting sessions. And um, yep, we're here every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, uh, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also I stream on Twitch. I have a Twitch account. I stream drawing videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday as well but from 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, me, you and I, Focus you Par, you may be the only YouTuber who shares a step-by-step -step oil painting. Uh, salute. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to focus. Um, hey Julie, I already, I have a tier actually, um, two, two Zoom tiers in the online classes. 
So they start off with uh, $10 a month, which is grants you access to all of the pre-recorded videos and access to the virtual classroom. Um, so you can send images each week. Uh, also, the there's a $20 a month tier, which is the live stream tier, which allows you to watch the lessons as they are created. It's the best way to communicate with me um, through, you know, text, of course, because we use text here. Um, the other two streams are for Zoom, uh, Zoom group tutoring and Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. Those are additions to the online classes and they don't take anything away from what we've had before. Hey Ali and Poliza, thank you. If I can get these two-dimensional shapes to to be as strong as possible, then, the, uh, like I was saying, the form will be very strong, at least I hope. Hey, Ashvir, beginner question, but when values get darker, does the paint get applied thicker? Not necessarily. Um, you can work like that. Um, in a way, yes. In a way, yes. Um, with what I'm doing, yes. Uh, more paint makes it darker. Less paint makes it lighter. Because I'm working in what is called open grisaille. This is called an open grisaille, where you leave the lights open and you work with just one color to draw. If you're going to be working with direct direct painting, which is what this is. Uh, so yes, you're correct. Um, that is how you draw with open grisaille. And it's a paint handling thing very similar to that of charcoal. So here I'll show you. I'm putting in uh, excellent observation. I know you said that was a beginner question, but excellent observation because I, I wouldn't have thought to mention that. But yes, the thicker paint actually appears darker. And when I apply thinner paint, it looks lighter. And the terminology is open grisaille. And I'm using a little little traces of um, Gamsol to thin out the paint to draw. So that should be good with that. And the uh, the details I'm gonna do additively. So let me go ahead, go back to the dark. Not additively, subtract, subtractive. So again, the term is open grisaille. And you can let it dry. Um, you know, the umber painting in, in general is a great way to start. Um, and you can let it dry and let that be it. But I want to move at a much faster pace. So again, I'm going to go into this with color. Hey Steven, do you ever add a touch of blue to the umber for the darkest darks in the underpainting? 
You no, know, that's something that they actually uh, would do at Studio and Um But no, I don't. I don't do that. I just keep it the same umber. But uh, great question. That is something I've seen other artists do. And please don't forget to check out the special sale. I have a 12 by 16 inch uh, study after Rembrandt oil on panel, oil on cradled panel actually. It, it has the wood uh, supports on the back. And it's a special sale, so if you do purchase it during the stream, you will also get a second painting in the mail in the same box containing a painting study on a sheet of canvas signed. Hey Monique, uh, content added to Patreon later as a pre-recorded or totally separate, um, oh I think you mean the Zoom, no the Zoom is not, I don't think the Zoom is recorded. Hey Bridget, take care, thanks for joining. Yep, that's, that is true Kathy. <laughs> So let's get the paper towel. Hey, found. Is everyone in the group Zoom painting the same thing you are painting? Yep, yep, in the group Zoom you are painting the same thing that everyone else is painting. You could also draw in the group Zoom as well if you want to draw the same thing. Hey Arjot, Arjot has entered the chat. Unless, wait, I think you've been here the whole time. Whoops. In terms of composition, 
I have to balance this with the clothing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract a little bit here and darken. Now yes, uh, I'm going to put some of the elements of the clothing, but not everything. Uh, for instance, this green spiral thing, I don't think I will add. You wouldn't see how it wouldn't have made sense without this value change. Hey Nita, could we do horses in the next life? Um, I mainly do portrait, but that could that could be an idea. That would be a good idea for Twitch, actually. That's why that's that's one of the reasons I started uh, the Twitch stream, so I can, you know stream different types of content, art related of course. For the meantime we're doing mostly charcoal drawings. But we could we could uh, fit in some of the uh, Alla Prima Alla Prima pet portraits and such. Hey Tony Stark, are you gonna add the flowers on top? Uh, yes I will. And I'm gonna I'm gonna subtract them just like this. So I'm gonna fill all this with paint and then go and subtract it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's do that now. Actually, I'm going to need more raw of the raw umber. Victoria. Oh, thank you. Better be careful with this raw umber. I don't want to paint too thick because it's not the alkyd. So it may, if, if I'm really unlucky, it may not dry by Wednesday. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it'll dry. It'll be touch dry. And you know, I'm playing with fire, but just to be a little bit safer. Yeah, a tiny bit of alkyd. I am not risking this not drying completely. Hey Steven, I find it very gratifying subtracting. Uh, oh yeah, it's very fun. So I've added some alkyd to the mix for this section here just because I do not want this to fail to dry. It's just not an option for me. I like this. It looks like uh, this color. It looks like uh, dark chocolate. Edward Soto. Yes, I will be adding color today.
And uh, we have a Rembrandt study for sale, so hopefully we all get to do another happy dance today. So let's see if we can manage to sell the Rembrandt that was just completed in the online classes. While we're at it, let's just cover this as well. Now you see why I really like raw umber. It's such a nice color. Okay, all right, so let's get the paper towel and subtractively draw the uh, leaves. You ready for this, Stephen? This one's for you, and I hope that you're okay uh, with the uh, thing that fell on your foot. drawing the leaves and guess what it's just like charcoal <laughs> it handles just like charcoal and it's one of the nicest things about charcoal drawing is that it can teach you how to do similar things with oil paint Hey, me too. Oh, thanks, uh, Victoria. So we're drawing in the leaves. Looks a little suspicious, looks a little questionable right now, but don't worry. We'll make a composition out of this. So there's one leaf up there. I only ask for a little patience. All right, so um, crowd question, everyone. As I draw subtractively all of the, uh, I know it looks like reindeer um, <laughs> uh, on the top. But I'm gonna, I'm adjust it. I promise. Crowd question, everyone. Crowd question time. What is your favorite artist quote? So you need to write the name of the artist and the quote, of course, to participate in this. Um, Crowd question. I'm going to start with mine. I'm just going to say it and not type it because I'm too lazy to type it. It is a quote by John Singer Sargent. Every time I paint a portrait, I lose a friend. So how many portraits have I painted? How many friends do you think I have? Although I consider all of you here very, very close friends. I think Sargent meant every time he paints a portrait commission of someone, he loses a friend. But anyway, that's my favorite quote. It, it actually doesn't really apply to me, but I like that quote.
Hey Southern Comfort. Welcome. Thanks for watching from Sydney, Australia. Hey Steven, I did this technique uh, to my last Bougaro study to make a crown. It worked well. It does work really well for uh, to make a crown shape. Franklin. Okay, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. No, Siri. Wow. <laughs> Siri froze. Okay, in any case, I'm going to have to make some stuff up, um, up here just because compositionally it's not in the picture. So again, favorite artist quotes. Another one I like from Sargent is, um, oh, hey Southern Comfort, I'm glad you're enjoying the Patreon tier. Uh, tiers. Um, another quote from Sargent that I really like is, a portrait is a painting where there's something a little bit off with the mouse. I'm stuck with a painting of my friend. Uh, good thing he's he's easy on the eyes. <laughs> oh well, that's good. Hey Ellen, good question. Yeah, the new brushes are doing great. Uh, I really like the new brushes. So maybe in a stream or two, I'll create um, the affiliate links for them. Just like with the uh, Alkids, I waited a little while before I recommended them to everyone. I could have drawn the whole portrait like this. Or maybe we'll start like that one of these days. Hey Colin, uh, Robson, inspiration exists, but it has, it has to find you working. Oh wow, awesome. Quote by Picasso. Leo V, my favorite artist quote. The heart of man is very much like the sea. It has its storms, it has tides and its depths. It has pearls too. Oh. Great quote from Van Gogh. <laughs> Me, you, and I just beat the devil out of it. The great Bob Ross says, beat the devil out of it. Yeah, that's, that's a good quote. I hope they have a setup one day where I can stand and paint. That would be nice. Yeah, let's get some artist quotes in the chat. And please, 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 please don't forget that this painting is available for a special sale. This painting was completed uh, in my online classes. This is a uh, painting after a Rembrandt. So this is a Rembrandt Master Study, 12 by 16 inches. And if you buy this painting during the stream, you'll also receive a free painting study on a sheet of canvas. So again, there is the link. and. It, not the link, there's the picture of the the posting and it is also pinned, the uh, link is also pinned in the comments of this video. And let's see how many artist quotes we can get.
And Steven Da Vinci, a painting is never finished, merely abandoned. That's That can be true. Hey, Southern Comfort, uh, it's 10.30 a.m. in Sydney. It, over here, it is 6.42 p.m. Yep, 6.42 p.m. So I think we're about there now for the... Uh, for the uh, color. So let's do it. I'm gonna clean off the brushes, of course. Not that I have to. I'm just cleaning it off with the solvent, just because it's um, that's what I do with the alkids, even though I'm not using them. It's just habit now to clean the brushes with solvent more frequently. And notice there's no medium. There's not going to be any medium here. Not for the not for the first layer. Whoops. Uh, yep, six. It is six forty-three over here. Uh, PM on a Monday. Yep. Let's get some color on here. I'm actually going to mix a skin tone with the palette knife. Remember, this is Williamsburg Flake White with a little bit of uh, titanium white alkyd. So it's a little bit of alkyd in with mostly Williamsburg Flake White. Now that I have a nice little neutral skin color, I'm going to mix an orangey color. This is cadmium red vermilion mostly with a little bit of Windsor Red Griffin Alkid. All of these paints are available through Amazon affiliate links in the description box of this video. But again, don't feel obligated to buy from there. I usually look um, look for sales on Jerry's Artorama if you're in the US. Definitely check out Jerry's Artorama. No, I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, I'm just telling you what I feel. And uh, let's just use that. And I'm going to create different gradations of that color. And as I always say, I work a little bit lighter and brighter in the first layer. Just so I can layer onto it. Hey, Victoria, I'm glad you like the, the leaves. <laughs> Edward Soto, some people say you have to paint portraits, others will say you have to paint landscapes. Now I tell you, you do whatever you want. <laughs> Great quote from you. Awesome. I miss flake white. Even though it's mixed into the ooh, even though it's mixed into the alkyd, because of course I need this to dry. Oh, that's nice. The alkyd flake white mix is nice. Um, so you're asking Monique about the uh, Oh hey Kachang Gupta, thank you um, You're asking about the uh, link This is from Unsplash um, This is from Unsplash A copyright free uh, resource um, Copyright free 
uh, website, well, you can get copyright free images from Unsplash. Uh, there's the link. You should be able to copy and paste it. The comment is not hyperlinked, so you have to copy and paste it. And if it doesn't, if the link that still doesn't work, um, I will make sure to post it on the community section. As long as someone reminds me. Oh no, it should copy and paste to Unsplash. Uh, let me double check it, let me double check it. If I lose connection, I apologize, but I'm gonna double check it. What in the world? Hold on a second. What in the world? Okay. So, yeah, I went to Unsplash. Luckily, I have... I copy and pasted from Unsplash instead of from my browser. Alright, check this one out. Uh, let's see if this one works, Monique. Southern Comfort, I went to Unsplash. I actually had that tab open on my, uh, on my browser. So, uh, do you want to see if that one works? That one works? Oh, good, good. Oh, it was a partial link. That's what I did. <laughs> It was a partial link. Whoops, I didn't copy and paste the whole thing. Sorry about that. My bad. Hey Southern Comfort, I'm glad it worked. I missed a question from Jeff. Thanks, Julie. Uh, question, are you following the same values with color as with the values in the underpainting at this stage? Um, I'm adding about, let's see, lightest light, darkest dark, so one, two, a mid-tone, three, and then four, the light light. So I'm trying to keep it at groups of four. But I've basically jumped right into um, values with this one. I'm going to switch to a different brush. I'm going to have a light brush and a dark brush. I'm glad that uh, it's a very clear image. Uh, Southern Comfort. And it, I felt like this was one of the best ones to choose for this task of um, form painting. And 
and um, yeah, definitely uh, please feel free to paint and draw along with me. Online students, you will have the post by no later than hopefully tomorrow uh, on Patreon where you can download the, um, the drawing template that I created. I'm going to scan it um, and make sure it's available for you as a printout. And remember online students, you can also send me images of any painting you create um, referencing any of my videos for the virtual classroom in addition to your online class images. So I'm keeping those value gradations really simple. I'm glad you loved my, uh, the drawing I did of my fiance on Twitch, uh, Southern Comfort. Oh yeah, awesome. Thank you. Hey Brock, um, yeah, I can write down. It's not the best drawing app. Um, it's what I could find that was free for my iPad. It's called Drawing Desk. I'll type it up for you. On it's the one I have on my iPad. For what it is, it works really well, in my opinion. Um, and that's actually the, what I use for my uh, virtual classroom. At the moment, I'm going to upgrade it to Procreate at some point, but that's what I use to uh, draw onto the students' images. So students that send me images um, for the virtual classroom, I use the drawing app to give you suggestions. Awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out on Patreon, uh, Southern Comfort. Hey Diego, welcome to the stream.
Hey Monique, uh, for online students, is it is the absolute deadline to submit images 11:59 p.m. Eastern Saturn, uh, Standard Time Saturdays? Um, yeah, I can I can move it. Um, actually, I'm gonna adjust that the way that works, uh, Monique. So as as long as I get the images for the um, virtual classroom by um, I want to say Monday night to Tuesday morning at the latest. I should be able to find them uh, in time to put them in the uh, virtual classroom. Because I, film, I filmed the virtual classroom using my streaming software um, on Tuesday evenings. And they're uploaded to Patreon uh, then and there. So I'm keeping the value gradations very simplified. Hey, AKA stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. You're responding to to Monique. Awesome. Awesome. So what this is, is a very limited palette, very limited palette uh, color underpainting. The great artist is the simplifier. Oh, that's a good quote by Van Gogh. Hey, artist, uh, Yash. Uh, Yadav, I'm an Indian artist. Welcome. Thanks for watching the stream. Greetings from uh, over here in Beltsville, Maryland. KLG Boston, thanks for these videos. I've really enjoyed them. Quick question: In the past, you mentioned you liked linen canvases, but what do you what do you feel makes them better as they are more expensive? Uh, great question. Oh, thank you, uh, Zoe Randall. So KLG uh, Boston, great question. You know, I was actually uh, talking about this same question with my fiance the other day over dinner, and. Um, I was talking about how much I really enjoyed linen because I started a large painting of her uh, from life using uh, double oil primed linen fine texture that I uh, finally received in the mail. Uh, I shouldn't say finally, I ordered it from Jerry's like, um, it took like four days I think to get from Jerry's, uh, so not, not bad at all uh, for um, the products to arrive. Um, but in any case, linen, what I like about linen uh, as opposed to say cotton canvas is that it's a th it feels like a much thicker weave like if you've ever stretched linen canvas um, you'll notice that it's much uh, you have to apply more force to stretch it 
than cotton canvas. Um, what I like about it is that it's very absorbent. The linen is very absorbent, especially oil primed. And it is uh, it feels like a heavier material when you paint on. So the bounce back is is different. So it's got a heavier feel to it, which I like. And it's more absorbent, which I like. And the texture as well uh, is much, it's much nicer in my opinion. But there really isn't a texture, um, a woven texture that compares at all to a wooden panel. So this, I, I think this is the best texture for, um, you know, highly finished paintings. But I, I digress. I mean, with linen, you can, you can get a really, really, uh, you know, like Bouguereau, just case, case closed Bouguereau. Um, you can, you know, get that far with linen. But for me, this is the optimal surface to use during these streams. Uh, number one is because it doesn't glare as much, which is an uh, excellent thing if you're going to be producing painting videos. And I incorporate the wood grain texture into the panel. So this panel is pretty much, other than me, I didn't cut the panel, but other than that, it is 100% uh, custom made by me. Yep, always paint from the heart, that is true. AJ Grammer. Hey Monique, I was not happy with the textured canvas I chose for project one, so I decided to start it over. I saw the image, yeah, I, I think that was a good choice too, just because the texture was uh, probably going to be difficult to work uh, over. Hazel Randall. Right now I'm thinking about how bad my painting is next. Oh no, don't say that. Um, we're all in this together, you know. Um, to to me, the beginning of a painting is the most. Uh, I want to say the most. Uh, I don't know the adjective, but everything's up in the air in the beginning of the painting, and so, you know, when something goes wrong, especially when you're painting with color. It's a normal thing, but the problem with portraiture is that it incorporates the awkward stage to it, which makes us a little uneasy. Hey Brock uh, McConnell, what what uh, time group works what best on a huh? What time working together? Uh, if you mean for the one on one. Um, that I have on Patreon. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one is you get to choose what time you want to paint with me. Anytime between 9 a.m. No, no, no. Not a, 9 a.m. is taken. But anytime between 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. because we're going to have a student that's going to have the uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, slot. So anytime between... 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard is still open for the one-on-one -on -one Zoom painting sessions, if that's what you mean. Hazel Randall. Oh, thank you. I've been painting um, since 2009. I started painting when I was uh, 17 going on 18 But I feel very fortunate in that I've had really really good teachers
So again, my my tendency is to go in here and add more and more and more and more values. When in fact, what I'm trying to do now is keep them more simple. So I'm trying to fight my tendency of going in and adding more and more values. And don't forget the uh, Rembrandt painting is still available. Hey Victoria, I'm painting a sunset right now. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yep, no problem, Monique. Uh, hey Antonio, I've been, uh, no conoce el idioma, cual idioma? No sé cuál. Um, you mean Spanish? I can understand it. Uh, I just can't speak it very well. I can speak like 10 words in Spanish. Hey, Danielle. Uh, thanks for stopping by, uh, Zoe Randall. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday, same time. And again, if anyone is here that's in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, um, once the world opens up, I would, I would like to be able to do uh, meet and greets. We can meet, uh, we can paint together, talk about life and stuff. So keep that in mind. If anyone here watching this as a pre-recorded uh, video or watching this live is in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area. Uh, that's where I live. Don't recommend it. It's a very expensive area. Hey, Jeff, with adding more values, does the uh, painting become more accurate? You know, I, I used to say um, that, yeah, as long as you, you know, continue to build the uh, value range, but what I'm finding, and especially after, um, you know, someone was mentoring me on Twitch, actually, we had a celebrity guest uh, artist uh, mentor me, basically give me advice. Um, I found that it's best to keep the value range a little more limited, but grouped together in terms of groups of four. That is, yes, uh, adding more values can make it more realistic, but it's generally better to keep the values less and use edges and color to do the rendering. Hey, Mad, moments go. Oh, oh, thank you. Hey, Sanita's art gallery, hello. No worries, Victoria. Um, you know, we all have to make adjustments and changes to our paintings. I certainly will. AMC hey, uh, Crindle Fine Art. You part of your awesome man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, learned so much from you. I'm an acrylic artist, really trying to break my over blending problem. You know, I have I tend to have an over blending problem as well. So I'm, we're in that together, and that I'm trying to, you know, not blend as much and use um, simple planes to to uh, describe form, which is what this painting is going to be mainly about his form. Hey Julia, this was a super helpful stream. Oh, thank you. I'm glad it was helpful. Um, hey Kalu Johnson, how you probably love your techniques. Um, as you apply these colors, very awesome. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, do you specialize on portraits? Because I'm curious to see your landscapes. I I mainly do specialize in portraits, yes, um, but I have painted uh, plein airs, uh, plein air landscapes, and um, landscapes in general, uh, but I do mostly specialize in portrait. But I can, I can do landscape. Alright, let's get into these planes and I'm going to use the, let's use the darker brush. The brush itself is not darker, but I have two brushes, light brush and a dark brush. AJ Grammer, uh, excited to see how you finished the eyeshadow and super excited to see the hair. Oh, thank you. We'll get to it, no worries. No worries. Designs by Cat Pro. Oh, thank you. So again, online students um, definitely give this a go. Everyone on Patreon. Um, again, I'll have this template available for you as a uh, printout once I scan it. As you're seeing here, this this is done with graphite, the shading, and then the outlines were taken from um, you know drawing over the picture using a drawing app and trying to uh, correct the uh, any photographic distortions that I found which I don't think I found any with this one which is a good thing and this is the Zorn palette by the way um, with the addition of raw umber and if you're just getting into portraiture uh, this is my most suggested combination of colors And even if you're already an experienced portrait painter, I still suggest this color palette. Oh, this is wonderful. I feel the, uh, the red starting to tack up slightly. So that means that the alkyd is doing its job. Remember, I have mixed alkyds with um, alkyd oil paints with non-alkyd oil paints for this one. I did a lot of planning of this one ahead of time. The reason that I mixed some alkyd with it is because um, I want this to dry at a reasonable time. And the reason I used uh, some non-alkyd oil paints is because I don't want it to dry super fast. I, want, I don't want it to get tacky uh, while I'm putting in these shapes. Hey Jeff, uh, do you purposefully slow down to make the painting last three sessions or could it be done in one session? Excellent question. There's no way I could finish this in one session. Nor two. Uh, I usually s will give myself about uh, three uh, sittings uh, per, if we're saying like head and shoulders painting, usually give myself about three and um, the the benefit to giving myself this much time as you're seeing is that I have 
you know, days in between where I can see uh, ad adjustments to make. And I can still paint at a, at a pace where I complete at least one image a week. But great question. Hey Victoria, I can't wait to see um, when you are done with the painting. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, like I highly, highly do not suggest um, trying to complete a portrait painting in one sitting. Just, just it, it's it's stressful. It's fun um, sometimes. It can be fun, but it's it's stressful. Uh, uh, at other times. I'll tell you what though, the perfect environment to complete a portrait in one sitting, a portrait sketch, is using charcoal. I know, I know, someone here probably cringed. Um, I know a lot of folks don't like charcoal, but trust me, you can get a lot of experience when it comes to working with shapes and quick two hour charcoal drawings, which is what we do in Twitch, so please check out the Twitch. I stream on Twitch 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, same days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hey Ingrid, what size filberts? Great question, these are both size 2 filberts. Uh, thank you, Kay uh, in Maine. Hey, Designs by Cat Pro. Awesome. Well, if you love charcoal, definitely check out my uh, Twitch channel if you don't mind. I'll be streaming another drawing video on Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. I'll show you a screenshot of my um, channel so you can see the username. Whoops, wrong one. Take two. Like I said, these aren't edited. There it is. Uh, so if you look on the left, there's my little symbol, Upari Artist. Um, of course, it's a different one um, since it's a different platform. Upari underscore artist. Uh, please help me get to 100 followers. Um, so, yeah, that's the, the username. And there's the link. Thank you for that. That's the link for my Twitch. Hey, Aka, uh, AKA stuff. Do you teach at the old school? Um, I don't know which old school you're referring to. Do you mean do I teach like old school methods? Yes. Um, when it comes to underpaintings, uh, monochromatic underpaintings, and grisaille, and all of that. Oh wow, K in Maine. Thank you so much for your super chat. K in Maine. Looks great. Everyone needs to give you probably at least five dollars. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for your support. K in Maine. Thank you so much for your uh, generous donation to my YouTube channel. K in Maine. Shout out to you with uh, both of my paintbrushes in hand that I've been using for this painting. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel, K in Maine. It helps me out so, so much. So thank you uh, again. Thank you again for your support.
Kay, you know what? That was such a uh, generous um, super chat. You know what, Kay? Email me. Here, I'm going to put my email. Alright, here's my uh, Gmail. Uh, so, K in Maine. So, there's my Gmail. Please feel free to send me an email and I will send you the uh, scan of this, uh, of the um, drawing template. I will send you the scan of this. I just gotta hook it up to the scanner and it's ready. Hey Edward, yeah, you're right. Should add a uh, happy happy dance for that. Hey Steven, yep, I did. I did post on uh, Instagram. I'm trying to post there more frequently. AK and Maine, um, please take the money for yourselves. Thank you for the offer, but it will cost you to send it. I'll give, oh, thank you so much for your generosity, uh, K and Maine. Thank you. So you know what makes a really nice um, neutral green skin tone uh, is raw umber and yellow ochre with of course a, a hint of uh, flake white or titanium white, whichever of the two. Hey Designs by Cab Pro. Yep, I'm on Twitch. Thanks for checking out the Twitch. Hope to see you there on, on Wednesday as well. I'm surprised no one's asked me why I pre-mixed these colors in the beginning with the palette knife and um, what I did was I mixed up a light uh, neutral pinkish skin tone, a middle kind of reddish skin tone, and then a middle gray skin tone here to uh, speed the time it takes for me to create mixtures of paint. So I'm using these two just like I use these. Oh no, don't worry about it, uh, Monique, you're good, you're good. Hey, uh, bro, I meant the class. Uh, I'll paint the same subject. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Brock McConnell. Um, I have um, approved images for each project. Um, so you don't necessarily have to paint the same. 
image. You can also choose your own image, but I have to approve it based on light and shade and form, of course. Um, but yeah, you can paint, um, you know, if you have a subject in mind that you want to paint during one of the lessons, you can do that too. I've had online students do that. What have I missed? Uh, Steven, have you ever used unbleached, unbleached white? Huh, no, I have never used the unbleached white. Hey, Lucy SC, familiar name here. Um, uh, which super chat would take PayPal? I think it does. I think there's a tip jar that YouTube has, but I uh, I need to set that up. No problem, Julie. I'm just trying to read the comments. That's why I'm a little quiet right now. I'm trying to figure out if there's any questions towards me. Can't find any that I missed. Oh, there it is. Treasure, uh, treasure, Hoag, uh, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Can you paint over alkids with water mixable oil paints? Uh, you can, so long as you don't use water in your painting session. Uh, only use the water to clean the brushes after the session is, uh, complete. You can use water mixables and traditionals interchangeably, as long as you do that. Um, Make sure that the water stays away during the painting. So it's getting a little too, a little too pink there. So let's use the gray. Um, so you want to know the biggest secret to realism, to painting realistic paintings? I'm going to tell you a secret, okay? But you got to keep it a secret. It's a very, very important secret to painting realistic paintings. You ready for the secret? Hmm? Of course, I'm just kidding. This, I don't want there to be any secrets in, in painting. I want it to be... You know, I want the uh, education to be available to everyone. What I do here is painting demonstration, uh, not online lesson. That's what I have the classes on Patreon for, but that, that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is the biggest secret to uh, realism, to painting something that looks realistic, is light and shadow. That is the biggest thing. And that's why uh, some photo references are uh, better to work from than others. 
the last photo reference that I worked from was very challenging in that it was very difficult to discern light and shade, light and shadow, but with this one, it's so much easier to see the distinction between light and shadow. So, um, you know, that's my biggest, uh, my, my best advice I can give you is light and shadow. As long as light and shadow is clear, then you're good to go. And of course, if you um, are able to paint a live model, make sure that you have a single light source. If you're using a window, um, that would be even better. But if you're using electric light, like a LED light, try to have just one single light source. Now I understand if someone commissions you to paint a portrait, you know, one of those portraits where the lighting is everywhere, the, uh, the person smiling, there may be some teeth involved or something like that. Oh, I, I understand that, trust me, I understand that. Um, but if you can control the images that you work from, then I would suggest always look for light and shadow. That's the best advice I can give you. Uh, what have I missed here? Uh oh. Hey Tony, uh, let's see if the lights are not, if the eyes are not on the axis, I should be able to tell here if I do a one on one. If anything, this shadow is a little too far down. Yeah, hard job. I wouldn't delete uh, Lucy's messages. Huh. And I can't even undelete them, huh? I'm trying to undo what hard job did. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, Harjot, I wouldn't I wouldn't time her out. Harjot, I'm gonna time you out. No, don't time her out. Hmm. Ooh, you the nice Harjot. <laughs> Be careful. Hey Victoria, the painting is turning out uh, really, really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, no, she was trying to suggest, Harjo was trying to suggest a way to get uh, donations while streaming. Hey Alma, yo estoy de este uh, yo estoy de acuerdo con apoyar a Yupari uh, aportando un donativo a una cuenta Kofi. Gracias. Uh, uh, Alma, te voy a decir algo bien chistoso porque hay algunos que no me pueden entender. Uno de mis uh, personas aquí en azul puso en, en uh, ¿cómo se dice? En, uh, en tiempo afuera a mi, a mi comprometida <laughs> y uh, me enojó un poco pero voy a tratar de pintar en paz <laughs> uh, sorry for my lack of knowledge of words in Spanish Oh, 
Alrighty, so it's time for another another crowd question. Time for another crowd question, everyone. Uh, yep, no problem, hard shot. We still cool. Uh, you still you still my buddy. No need to worry. Um, another crowd question coming up in a second here. Alright, I think I thought of one. Um, Alright, so, crowd question, everyone. Where is your favorite place to go shopping for art supplies? Uh, so, for me, my favorite place to go shopping for art supplies is Jerry's Art Arama. That is uh, Jerry's in the USA. Um, so, Jerry's Art Arama, uh, let's see, where is everyone's favorite place to go shopping for art supplies? <laughs> hey Edward, you understood? <laughs> we got that connection. <laughs> we got that connection. Now I could barely speak Spanish, but I can speak some. Shout out to all my Spanish speakers out there. Jackson's of London. That's an awesome one in uh, the UK, I believe. I think. I don't know. Uh, Art Discount. Awesome, Julie. Treasure coming in with Jerry's. eBay. Oh, wow. Victoria, uh, Hobby Lobby. Right. <laughs> That's all the Spanish I know. Yeah, I, I barely know any. You shop at uh, Blick Supply in Salt Lake City. Oh wow. Okay, in Maine online I like uh, Blick Art. Uh, here in Maine, awesome. Uh, small private art store in Norway, um, in Maine. And the Hobby Lobby slash Michaels. Yep. Cheap Joe's, uh, Ingrid coming in with blocks, uh, Artorama, and okay, uh, never mind. Edward Soto from eBay, because there aren't any art stores there in Puerto Rico, I see. Oh, almost made that too pink. Oh, Jay Grammer, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Jay Grammer, thanks for the uh, heart emojis as well. So, Jay Grammer, thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, thank you so much for your donation to my YouTube channel. Your support really, really does help me out so much. So, thank you again so much for uh, the kindness of the super chat uh, during this live stream. So, again, all oh, right, right. Shout out to you, Jay Grammer, with the paintbrush in hand that I'm using to paint in the side plane of the uh, cheekbone, the zygomatic bone, so shout out to you, Jay Grammer. Uh, 
LF26 flight white is not easily available because of the lead. Um, you don't necessarily have to use flake white, it's just a nice thing to have. Um, but it's it's not like 100% necessary. Flake white has this property of which allows you to use more of it without raising the value too much, therefore allowing you to have a thicker, uh, richer consistency of paint, but you don't 100% need it. Hey Victoria, am I going to do a painting for Christmas? A uh, holiday theme would be good. Um, I don't think I'll pick just one holiday, but holiday theme would be good. Hey Monique, would love to own my own art supply store. Then I would definitely shop there at, at Monique's Art Supplies. AKA stuff. I shop at Textbook Center. Oh, awesome. Ingrid, could you do a list of color combos? Oh, the timeouts last five minutes. No wonder everyone's mad at me <laughs> when they're timed out. Um, uh, the color combinations, yes, I can explain. So the skin tones are some, usually some variation of orange and pink, or pink and orange. So the majority of the combinations are between white, red, uh, yellow ochre, a nice little middle orange and then uh, raw umber to tone down and ivory black to cool. When I when something goes greenish like over here then it's raw umber and uh, yellow ochre. Uh, AL26, the Lana Del Rey feel about her. That's not bad at all. Hopefully we can have Lana Del Rey commission us to make a painting one day.
Hey Verluca, in Romania there are no special art stores for professionals. All you can find are inferior quality products and online prices are extremely high. Oh no. Apologize for that. Hey Edward Soto, what's something that differentiates you from other artists when it comes to actually painting? Question mark. Mine is that I use odd colors to tone my canvas. It's a good question for everyone. Uh, for me, I think it's that I stream um, and make videos. I think maybe one day, unless I've already done this, but I wonder if I'll get like a world record for the amount of time, painting of video time. <laughs> Maybe one day. Let's see, hey physics mania, welcome. Oh, awesome, Mariah. So yep, yeah, keep the questions or the responses coming. Where is your favorite place to shop for art supplies? And please don't forget that we still have the Rembrandt painting that was just completed in the online classes available as a super sale, uh, special sale that is. Edward, uh, well, there was an art live stream on YouTube that lasted 11 hours. Oh, wow. I meant in total, not in with one stream. AK in main, uh, ALF26 has a good question. Let me see up here. Uh, hey, Alpha 26, I mean, would you dream of painting anybody you admire in particular? Oh, good question, uh, Alpha 26. Who would I like to paint uh, in person that I admire? Um, hmm, that could get controversial, but... Uh, oh, there goes my... Okay, uh, I'd say Jim Carrey. If I could paint someone in person that I really admire, it would be Jim Carrey. So if anybody knows him, and if he wants his portrait painted, uh, you know, let me know. I'll give him a, I'll give him a discount if he wants to pose for me. So yep, if anybody knows Jim Carrey and he would like to have his portrait painted, let him know. I can paint his portrait.
Hey, Mariah, I, th I thought the same, the same person. Really, we, we think the same. <laughs> hey, Victoria, I'm glad you like how I, uh, I, I did the neck. Oh, yeah, uh, Jim Carrey is definitely yeah, amazing. Uh, thanks, uh, Leo V, for liking my choice. Uh, hey, uh, Stephen, good choices. He can hold a face for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, if only I could get in contact with Jim Carrey. I'd definitely like to paint his portrait. And you know how that could be made possible, everyone? How can I get a commission to paint Jim Carrey? Not even a commission. How can Jim Carrey call me up and say, you probably uh, would love for you to paint my portrait? And yes, I would definitely be able to paint your portrait, Jim Carrey. Uh, I'll set up my easel wherever you would like me to. We set up the painting, and we're going to paint this big painting of Jim Carrey. How would this something like this be possible? Um, you know, not just Jim Carrey, but say, like, other... Other, um, you know, like, I don't know, let's say, suppose, I don't know, Beyonce wants me to paint her portrait, or, I don't know, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Imagine, like, you know, artists like that, or, you know, people like that. How can that be possible? You. So if you out there uh, have some connections, you are the key to me attaining portrait painting Portrait paintings like that. You are the key to that. Uh, virtually? I don't know. I don't know. I, I would really like to... Of course, this is all hypothetical. Um, this is all hypothetical. I know that uh, there's still a pandemic going on, but... Don't worry, the pandemic will end. I'm hopeful. Um, but in any case, you know, it's it's really up to all of you that are that have been watching these videos, not just the streams, but the YouTube videos of uh, that I've been posting. And it's up to you. If I'm really gonna get anywhere in in life with with painting, that's the way I'm, I want to do it with those kind of portraits. And I would definitely bring everyone along with me, especially the online students. I'll be guiding them through those, uh, through the uh, procedures involved in, in such paintings. And then YouTube, I would vlog it for you. Big dreams for such a little person like me. It could be possible one day. Hey Jeff, do you ever freeze after painting a uh, painting in the face that came out great in an effort not to destroy what you have painted? I'm sometimes afraid to finish because I don't want to destroy the hard work. I used to feel that way, but not so much. Um, I paint nearly every day. Um, I used to have uh, Sundays and Thursdays off, but I, I don't really have those days completely off. Um, so it depends on the frequency that you paint. I mean, if you're painting all the time, then, um, you know, you become less attached to the paintings. Doesn't mean you don't value them, it's just that, you know, if you keep the paintbrush moving, it it's it's really going to make you less fearful in general. Just keep the paintbrush moving. Hey, Alf26, social media is the key. That is true. Hey, Marco, I suggest you render the, fully the portrait and leave it like that. 
I love the effect of the umber layer. Oh, you do? Oh, I'm glad. Could be, could be. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let everyone know if, if I'm lucky to get um, uh, Jim Carrey to allow me to paint his portrait. Hey, Elf26, uh, you know, there's a young man in the UK who became an overnight sensation because he took up painting during a lockdown, and now he's teaching in schools. But I didn't know. I wasn't, I wasn't cool enough to do that, no. Alright, so let's fix the expression. I think the eyebrow needs to be a little more flat. Hey, Art by Zuzu. Oh, thank you. So now hopefully you can see why I chose that approach in the beginning of spending a little extra time with the light and dark shapes because then all I had to do was just uh, add in some values and now we're starting to get the form. Obviously I'm going to make this even more, uh, hopefully even more realistic on Wednesday. Hey Mark, uh, Fontalin, do you prefer to work with glass palette um, or more of the, the wood palette? I prefer the wood palette. This is just so you can see the mixtures while I'm painting, but I, I have a handheld palette that I use when I paint off camera. Hey Victoria, if you were to do this painting in days, how many days would you do uh, Do the painting? Um, this is going to take me days. I'm not finishing this today. Uh, three days. So uh, today, Wednesday, and then um, and we're finishing it on Saturday. And again, this painting will be available as a special sale just like the Rembrandt is available right now uh, on the day this painting is completed which is Saturday so if you're watching this and you really you feel like you're really gonna want this painting uh, it will be available on Saturday I just got a Gmail. I am uh, American. Born and raised in Maryland. Hey Marco, 
I'd love to work on uh, the wood pallet too, but I think the wood pallet is amazing only if you have treated it with oil in the classical way. Also, I would highly recommend uh, New Wave brand pallet, um, the maple wood pallets that they sell. Speaking of completing this painting, the uh, strategy is to do a lot of the, um, as we've already done, the drawing in the first layer. This I do plan to cover with the color, although, I mean, if everyone wants me to leave it um, like that, I can. Right now I'm about to go back into the, into the neck and add some of the values into the neck. But the plan is to uh, cover everything on Wednesday and then take this to a, a finish on Saturday. Hey Kay and Maine, my problem when I attempt to do a portrait painting is I paint too fast. He probably paints slow and he doesn't take large um, large uh, marks on the skin. Uh, you know, everyone has their own pace. Uh, I don't... I don't uh, paint this at uh, this pace all the time. Sometimes I paint uh, a little bit faster. The important thing is to uh, to reason with shapes and to treat it as a set of shapes that you're working with and not so much as a uh, portrait. Hmm, this is not good. My iPad's actually about to die on its charger. Um, so I use an iPad for photo reference. And lately I've had problems with it and in, in charging. I don't know if anyone else is having uh, problems with their Apple devices. I'm not doing good <laughs> right now. But in any case, I was I was uh, serious about the Jim Carrey painting. If anybody knows someone that knows someone that happens to know someone that might know a friend that has a friend that can help me get um, those kind of painting permissions, please contact me. Hey Leo V. Oh, you're talking to someone. Oh, good night, Ingrid. Take care. I'm glad you enjoyed the drawing. Painting the uh, sternocleidomastoid now. <laughs> hey, Monique, it would be hard for him to sit still. Um, you know, we can <laughs> we can start the painting from life, and then I, I'll take pictures and then uh, finish the painting from life of course so he wouldn't have to sit for the entire thing. Uh, 
Oh, thank you. Sorry I don't know how to read the symbols on your username, but thank you for your comment. And yet, please don't forget to check out the painting that's currently available uh, as a special sale for everyone that's still here. Hey Harjot, I'm glad you're back. Uh, sorry about earlier. Uh, oh, thank you for your comment. Hey Victoria, oh, I'm glad that you like uh, everything I did to the painting. And you know what really helped to move this quickly um, is creating that drawing template. Uh, like I said before, um, I created this drawing template after I finished my Twitch uh, stream. So this drawing template helped me get acclimated to what the shapes would eventually look like. Now of course this is a little kind of uh, I want to say round compared to the photo reference. I could have, I guess, made that more straight, but that's what really helped me. And of course, starting really, you know, loose. Hey, Lemon Doodle. Oh, thanks, uh, Tony. I like your username, Lemon Doodle. Man, you know what? Lemon Doodle, shout out to you for having such an awesome uh, username, Lemon Doodle. Tony, I'd love it if you use the the red color of the flowers on the head. Uh, yeah, I'll get there to the red here and then some of the red here. We'll get there. No worries. But that's going to be a different uh, stage altogether of this painting. Um, and like I said uh, from your question earlier, uh, about what are my goals with this painting? Um, uh, form. Uh, form is my goal with this one. We're starting to get there. This is just the beginning. It's just the start. Hey, 
Haley OV really loved the flesh tones and color on her cheek lips. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. And again, everyone, this is the Zorn palette with the addition of raw umber. Zorn palette with the addition of raw umber. Uh, hey Roxanne, uh, yep, yeah. uh, def uh, define form. So by form, I mean any structure that has a set boundary. Um, so any structure that has a set boundary, so it has a beginning, a middle, and an end in three-dimensional space. Any A form is any object in three-dimensional space that has a defined boundary. And if it has a defined boundary and uh, relationship with respect to a, a given light source, then you can describe the form through values. That's all. So thank you for that question, Roxanne. Yep, no problem, Julie. Hey M, what's the difference between raw and burnt umber? Good question. Uh, from my understanding, they are the same thing, except burnt umber is uh, uh, raw umber that has been uh, basically baked, like burnt, uh, to be that reddish color. Uh, but in practice, they dry at about the same speed. Uh, they handle the same. It's just that burnt umber is warmer than raw umber. So had I used raw or burnt umber instead of raw umber here, this would have been a lot more orangey, which would have made it difficult to discern uh, these skin tones. Hey Edward, oh thank you. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. But usually it's about three hours, I think. Um, I think we're at the, yeah, we haven't even reached three hours yet. I think I was here for four hours at one time almost. Okay, so where what was it? Oh, okay. How about this? I have a really good question. Um, I don't know. It might be a bad question, but I suspect it might be a, a good question. Does anyone else talk to themselves while they're painting? And yes, I probably sound kind of crazy by saying this, but sometimes I kind of talk to myself while I'm painting. Um, I kind of tell myself like, uh, you know, that value on the neck was a little bit too light. Maybe I could, you know, uh, make it a little uh, less sharp or something like that. Does anyone else talk to themselves while they're painting? crowd goes silent. <laughs> no one wants to admit. Hey Victoria, you do too? Okay. I don't feel so bad. Some money. Hey Kay, uh, in Maine, I can't remember if you probably said it or it was another artist, but adding blue into the color mixing for the face is not good. I mean, you can, um, as long as it doesn't get too cold. Um, because if it gets too cold, then it can be kind of, kind of corpsey. If that's even a word. Hey Steven, yes, all the time. My wife often asks, who am I talking to? 
Yeah, my, my fiance thinks I'm crazy, so it's all good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> awesome, mommy. Edward, I actually have a long conversation with myself, but it happens in what it happens is science, so it's making me move around and waving my hands like a crazy person. That's good. That's the uh, that's that like physicist uh, walking around the room, writing equations, trying to figure things out, kind of uh, talking to yourself. That's cool. Hey SF uh, Gamer, should we, comma, who are less experienced, start with the sketch? Uh, I would suggest for beginners to, honestly my best example, my best advice, if you want to get, um, improve your painting, is charcoal drawing. Um, so please check out the Twitch. Um, drawing helps out so much with painting because they're the same thing. I consider them the same thing. For me, drawing and painting are the same thing. It's just that the material is easier to handle if you're um, drawing, especially with charcoal. Um, but yes, uh, starting with the drawing with the outlines is actually a really good idea if you are a beginner uh, to answer your question uh, more thoroughly. And um, that's actually the procedure that I use for project two in the online classes. I do start off the students uh, with that one with a uh, drawing, a transfer drawing. Hey Monique, I think a lot of people do it and don't realize it, talking to themselves while they're painting, possibly. Hey Jeff, uh, have you tried putting down a brush stroke and leaving it rather than uh, scumbling every stroke? Isn't it harder to paint that way? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just habit. I, um, I, I'm usually testing. Like when I do that, I'm testing. You know, like this is a very subtle jump from one value to another value. It could also be your personality too. I'm, I'm very indecisive, so I'm a very indecisive person. So that could also be why I paint like this. Hey Ronald Miller, uh, I talk to myself all the time when painting as well. I always wondered that because I do find myself talking to myself while I'm painting um, and I only really notice it when I can hear it um, in my own videos. Oh, thanks, Julie. So 
That should be almost about good for today. Remember the Rembrandt is still available, the Rembrandt study created in the online classes. Yep, definitely check out the Twitch account that's there. So yeah, we all talk to ourselves all the time when we paint. See, it's normal. <laughs> uh, though a lot of uh, non-painters will probably disagree. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to sit back and see if there's anything I need to adjust. And of course, this was the mission of the first uh, layer for me, which was to get the drawing as accurate as I could with the face and then um, when we return on Wednesday we have all of this that we're going to uh, cover. Remember this painting is currently still available as a special sale. Um, this is a Rembrandt master study that has been painted on uh, 12 by 16 inch uh, wooden panel. It's also a cradled wooden panel. You can see the back side. So remember as a special sale if you do purchase this painting during the stream. So here you can tell the well, tell the size <laughs> tell the size of the painting. Um, 12 by 16. If you do purchase it during um, the painting session you will also get a free painting study on a sheet of canvas. Uh, signed, of course, in the box containing this painting. So yes, it is the largest painting on uh, in in my Etsy currently available. Also, this was created in the uh, online classes as Project Five. And in the online classes, you can take the lessons at your own pace. Remember. Yeah, I need to do something about this microphone. That's like always in front of me. Um, here, uh, artist, and uh, I'm trying to read your username. Artist near uh, Dengi. Um, let's see. What color do you use in the background? Uh, this is this is raw umber. This is Winsor Newton raw umber that I used back there. Oh, thanks, Ronald Miller. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and um, I think adjust one more edge, this edge down here, and then I'm going to proceed to clean the brushes. And of course, I'll hang out for a little bit, uh, answer any questions. And don't forget, we will return on Wednesday. Okay. I think that should be about the last edge to adjust there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the brushes. I uh, thank you, uh, Italo uh, Campioni. Thank you. Thanks, uh, K in Maine. And uh, Sita Vartana. Thank you. And don't worry, Tony, we will put the uh, the red for the flower here and um, the colors over here on Wednesday. So I'm just going to clean off the brushes again, as always. Uh, going to clean off the brushes and then hang out for a little bit. So consider this our dedicated questions and answers time. 
So I'm just going to clean off the brushes, clean off the palette. Please feel free to ask me any art questions that you may have. Oh, thanks, Monique. Uh, sorry if I don't know how to read your username, or I can't read the symbols on your username. It's my first time um, I meet your channel. I love the way you're drawing. Keep going. Uh, subscribing right now. Well, thank you. Um, I, how how do I say your name um, with the uh, uh, symbolically? How do I say your name? Because I don't know how to read your username. I would love to give you a shout out. Take care, Victoria. And uh, Ronald Miller. I really like these brushes. Uh, I've been using them a lot. Uh, definitely been putting them to use. Uh, they work great. And again, uh, after a few streams, I will create a link for them. Or maybe I can just create one for Wednesday. But, um, yeah, if you're interested, these are Qualita Filbert by Creative Mark. Not very expensive brushes, but they work really well. Hey, Kay and Main. Um, so what I used today was, I'll show you what I used today, uh, a size 6 Egbert. This is my favorite brush. Um, so let's see if we can go through the list and see if this helps you. Um, so in the beginning we used the, this is a size 6 Egbert um, uh, brush. It's a pretty funny looking brush. If you look at the um, the bristles, it's like, it's a really long filbert uh, is what this is. And um, so yeah, this is a size 6 Egbert. This is by um, Princeton brand. It's a, it's a little expensive and it's not super expensive, but it's, uh, I think it's like, Depending on where you are, I think it's like 11 or $15 uh, US. Um, Princeton Catalyst Polytip Bristle. It's in the description uh, box as my favorite brush. These um, I purchased from Jerry's Artorama. These are Qualita Filbert, uh, Qualita Filbert uh, by Creative Mart. These are, uh, again, Qualita, Q-U-A-L-I-T-A, Filbert. I used a size four, and I used a size two. And that's what I used for this entire painting. Minus the scrubby scrub brushes, but those don't really count. Those are just scrubbing brushes. So hopefully that helps. Yep, take care, Victoria. Hi hey Steven, let's see. I bought dark hair brushes for darks and the Japanese white brushes for lights. Still mess up though. Oh, I still mess up too. Hey Sophie Jones, what would you tell beginner painters to deter them from getting frustrated while learning new skills? Uh, the first thing I want to say for anyone that is just beginning painting and um, you know feels like they're getting discouraged or um, would like some some words of motivation what I would say is the very most important thing that I want to say to those of you that are just getting into painting is that you can learn it you can learn how to paint let me tell you why. That is because drawing is something that everyone can learn. I I believe that drawing is something everyone can learn, and that's one of the reasons I started the Twitch stream because it's going to be mostly drawing. Drawing is something that anyone can learn. Now, painting is something that anyone that knows how to draw can learn. So, if you can draw, you can paint. And if painting is something that anyone can learn, then anyone can paint if they put in the time to do it. Now if you're getting frustrated um, and you're just beginning and you're getting frustrated, I tell you, 
I've been painting for as long as I've been painting, and I still get frustrated. So that's normal. If you're feeling frustrated, that's normal. That's a normal feeling to, to have. Don't feel like you're doing something wrong because you're getting frustrated uh, with your artwork. That's, that's normal. All of us go through that kind of frustration. Yep, no problem, uh, Ron. I'm glad you got the unsplash uh, picture. Hey, Kay and Maine. I, I do like filberts, but I also use round brushes a lot, too. And, um, you know, this is one thing I really like um, about these streams is that I get to know everyone. You know, I, I see your names show up uh, in the stream there, and I, I recognize you. You know, we're, we, we're beginning, a, you know, a dialogue. This is great. I mean, this is the wonderful thing about the technology that we have here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I have to make a decision here whether to put these paints on here. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to, since I mixed flake white, with Alkit. What I'm probably going to do is take this off of here and put it on my uh, wooden palette because I am going to be working on my studio paintings tomorrow along with the group Zoom. So tomorrow um, on Patreon we'll have the, a group Zoom painting session camera to camera. I'll be able to paint with my uh, group Zoom and up uh, tier patrons. I also have a virtual classroom to create tomorrow, but yeah. I'm going to put these on my palette so I can work on uh, st on studio paintings with them. Alrighty, last call for the special sale of today. I'm actually going to stand up and get my wooden pallet. So hold on a second. My legs. And this is the wooden pallet that I've been using. Um, I call this pallet 9 to 5. So let's just put this over here. Put this over here. Put this over here. Hold on a second. So this is the palette that I use, that I've been using for my uh, larger paintings that I've been doing from from life. Off camera, of course. All right, so now I'll put this aside. Try not to get paint everywhere again. Now I'll clean this off. So again, feel free to ask me any questions. This is our dedicated questions and answers time. Oh yeah, we'd love to have you in the group Zoom, Monique. And remember, it's it seems like everyone wants to do the Zoom uh, style for the uh, the monthly live chat. So for the live chat of the month of uh, the month we're currently in, December. I lose track of time sometimes. Um, it's going to be this Sunday, this coming Sunday, uh, it's 12 o'clock p.m. So that is available for all online students, actually everyone in the um, live chat tier and up. You will have access to the live chat, the Zoom live chat that we will have on Sunday.
This is one of the nice things about a glass palette. Is they're so easy to clean with a razor. Just don't, of course, just be careful not to point the razor towards your hands. Hey Kathy, uh, oh thank you for your comment. Your painting is beautiful. Love the subtraction you did for the hat. Yep, just like charcoal. Uh, thank you. Hey Kay and Maine, thank you Pari for all. Um, thank you Pari for always doing these live, um, these live streams. I'm glad that you're learning so much here. Uh, do you have to have a Zoom thing for Sunday's live chat? Uh, as long as you can. Uh, Honestly, I think Kathy can answer this one better. Okay, good, good. You can do Zoom without the video. Oh yeah, you don't have to use your video if you choose not to. Hey Zorin, I'm glad that you like the colors. Hey Wolfie, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fix that next time. Okay, let me double check if the bottom is covered. So always check to make sure that the bottom of your paintings, I know there's paint on my fingers, but make sure that the bottom is uniform. See, I wouldn't leave this like that, so. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this with your fingers unless you paint like every day, like I do. So I just wanna unify the bottom of that. All right, all right, that should be about good. All right, thank you so much for watching everyone. Hey Steven, uh, you don't have a webcam. Uh, you can also use your laptop webcam or your smartphone. Uh, the Zoom live chat uh, is Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock p.m. But yeah, video is not, not required with Zoom. Yep, so thank you so much, everyone. I hope that uh, these streams are helping you out. I wish you the very best in all of your artwork. And of course, I will see you on the next stream, which is actually going to be on Twitch. Um, so the next stream is going to be on Twitch, 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. And then here on YouTube, we'll be back 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. So, take care, everyone. I wish you the very best again, and I'll see you on the next one.